Welcome back, everyone. It is Trivia Tuesday, of course. Time to get our brains fired up this morning. Holly and Jeff are in the seat this morning to answer these questions. How are you feeling? I don't know if I'm feeling too smart today. Yeah, you? Not too good, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> All, right. See what All right, well, this first question, you have a 50-50 shot at getting good. Okay, right here. that's a good start. We're going to go with a true and false one. So, this statement, Australia is wider than the moon. Is that true or false? Wider than the moon? I feel oh, like wow. this is a trick question. <laughs> that's such a great question. Why would he ask it? I know, that's right. So that's so why I said true. It's true. Is Holly it? Holly got it. <laughs> yep, it's just slightly. Australia is just slightly yeah. wider than the moon. What about that? Here, so. yeah, amazing. Hmm. Okay, so when was the first Ford Mustang introduced? Was it in 1960, 1964, 1968, or was it in 72? Hmm. Do you remember a Mustang, Holly? Did I have one? Yeah, you one? No. My first I car like was a Mustang. Oh, was it really? Arrested and everything, but... Oh, nice. Oh, Still a Mustang. Look at you. But 64. Me too. 64, you guys yeah. both know your Mustangs. <laughs> Good job. So, Holly, ahead by one here. All right, which state has won the most Little League World Series? Oh, wow. Is it Pennsylvania, Alaska, Texas, or California? Oh, wow. Going with my first thought before I heard all the choices. <clears throat> I put Pennsylvania. Texas. California. Is it? Great guess. Really? Wow. How about that? It's California kids. <laughs> yeah, good ball. Okay, what crustacean has its heart located in its head? Is it lobster, crab, <laughs> crayfish, or shrimp? Heart located in its head. Can you give those again, please? Yes, lobsters, crabs, crayfish, or shrimp? Wow. I don't know. That's something. Pretty my favorite one to eat. But <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp. Is shrimp. Is it? Shrimp? Got it. Is it? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, what country has the lowest elevation point in the world? Oh. Is it China, Argentina, Israel, or Australia? The lowest elevation in lowest, the world. Yes, lowest elevation point. One more time, please. Yes, uh, Argenti China, Argentina, Israel, or Australia? Can't be another Australian answer, can there? Yeah, really. What mental games is he playing here? Yeah, real sorry. <laughs> I had to really think about this one, and I don't know. I put Argentina. Me too. Israel. Great guess. I always because put the, the Holy Dead Land. Is oh, the Dead Sea. Oh, Because yeah. I knew they had hills Duh. and mountains. Okay. How old was Billy Graham when he preached his first sermon? Wow. Was he 12, 16, 20, or 24? <sighs> Can you give those again, please? Yes. 12, 16, 20, or 24? I put the youngest, 12. I did, too. He was 16, actually. Oh, I would have guessed 12 as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh he was a great one. Okay. Which of the following actors is especially known for having a distinctive, deep voice? Is it Tom Hanks, Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, or Samuel Jackson? Deep voice. Yes, a distinctive, deep voice. I think Holly got this. Morgan, Morgan, Freeman. Morgan Freeman, you guys both yeah. know it. All right. Yeah, what a voice. It's a great voice. Holly's still ahead by one. Yeah. Okay. You. What is New Zealand's national animal? Is it the kiwi? Is it panda, bald eagle, or the lion? This is what? Wait. New Zealand, you yes, said? Yes, national animal of New Zealand. Yep. And a kiwi is an animal? <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking it's a fruit, aren't you? Yes. Sorry, it's actually, one more time, because he already wanted his answer. It's a little a flightless bird. Okay. okay, the kiwi, panda, bald eagle, or lion? Maybe they didn't put much thought into it. They're like, you know what, just make that fruit. <laughs> That'll be our fruit and our animal. <laughs> It'll be our fruit animal. and our animal. I, okay. I'll put the kiwi. I'll put the kiwi. Jeff got it. Yeah, yeah that's so not, too obvious. You guys are tied up now. We'll go with another one here, the tiebreaker. Okay, this is a science question. We'll see how well you know your science. Earth is tilted on its axis, uh, which is why we have seasons, of course. But what is the degree of tilt that Earth is tilted on its axis? Is it exactly 15 degrees? Is it 23 and a half, 32 degrees, or 50 degrees? What is the degree of tilt? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> yes, 15 degrees, 23 and a half, 32, or 50? 
Probably a math thing, dude. I put 15. Holly got your science, 23 and a half. Good so Holly, job. take that trophy from Jeff.